This is an item I did promoted listings on. This is the kind of thing I would do a promoted listing on. Everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. We're in the Commonwealth cabin, and I'm sorry, I look like it's the middle of December or something. So it was unusually cold today, and I forgot to keep that heater on. <laughs> Came out, it's freezing in here, so I just decided I'd throw this on. So don't get fooled, this isn't a rerun. <laughs> we're definitely in the summertime. Well, I guess we're in spring still. Feels like we're in summer some days, but some days we're back in the winter. So we had some interesting sales as we typically have lately, selling a lot of back end stuff, a lot of stuff out of the back end of the store, which is cool. And a lot of the new stuff we've been listing. My wife's been listing a bunch lately. And so some of those items that we're selling are items that she listed. I listed a couple of things yesterday that sold today. Sold some more Legos, some vintage Legos and sold them part by part. So, you know, I often say, when in doubt, part it out. And Legos can be like that, and then they cannot be like that. My wife just sold those sets you saw a few days ago, or a week ago maybe now at this point, and made some really, really good money. 150 for one set, 119 for another, 79.95, all plus shipping. And so she made a ton of money. But then there were a couple that she decided to part out because they weren't complete. And she did that pretty strategically and had a couple of those sell today. I think to a viewer, matter of fact, we had a bunch of viewer sales. Usually it's maybe 20, 25% viewer sales with heavily on the Enemann right there. But today it looks like we're like 40% viewer sales, which is very kind of y'all. And we appreciate it very much. And we'll show you a few of those. They weren't all Enemann. Some of them, matter of fact, I think half of them weren't. We also had a viewer send us a gift. So I've got to hustle this up because the homeschool hustlers, I told them that they could come out in 20 minutes. I just told them they just left. I told them they can come back out in 20 minutes and we'll open that package. And so Turner's asked me about 100 times, can we get in there, can we get in there? I said, listen, I gotta film the first part of this video first. There's nowhere to open it. Look at all this stuff we sold. And we did have quite a bit sell today and we have some things in the eBay cave in there. We're gonna let's take a look at those. Two homeschool hustler sales along with, I think a license plate. There's, there's three things today in the box. Now we're not gonna show them all today. We usually take a couple of days, but I wanna make sure you know if you're a viewer and you were nice enough to send us something to the PO box, that sometimes it takes a little while for us to show those. But one of them came from Canada. So we're definitely gonna show that one today because they, I'm sure, sent that thing a long time ago. So here's one item that you don't see me sell very often, and that's a pair of shoes. These are Asics Gel Nusa, I think is what they're called. I think I've sold them once or twice before. I don't pick up shoes very often, and people are like, why don't you pick up shoes? I hate it. I hate cleaning them. I hate taking pictures of them. And I don't have terribly good luck around here. This is not a very wealthy area of, <laughs> of Virginia down here where I live. So there are certain areas where I do find shoes and do okay. I think more wealthy, affluent places are gonna be much more likely to have nicer shoes. And that's just not why, where I live. Now, there are a couple places in Roanoke that I find nice shoes and a couple places in Lynchburg where I find nice shoes. But in between, virtually none ever. But these are pretty good. These sold for $21.95 plus shipping. I don't remember what I paid for them, but I would be shocked if I paid more than $5. My guess is two or three bucks is my guess. All right, I know it's amazing I'm selling a Titleist hat, and I don't even have a Titleist hat on, which is a little bit surprising, but this is like my fall hat, and it feels like fall out there today. I'm like, I'm gonna wear the brown hat. Anyway, this is a Virginia Tech Titleist hat. The Titleist hats in general sell really well. I love Titleist hats. I don't know why I love them. You see them over there all the time. I wear them all the time. But this one, I would have kept this one, but it's a large, extra large. And I wear, at the very least, a medium large. But really, I need something smaller than that or something that's adjustable. My head isn't all that big. So I needed to sell this one. Unfortunately, I would have kept it. I think I paid $3 for it. And I remember the sale that I bought it at, along with all that other golf stuff. And it took a little while to sell, $14.95 plus shipping on this hat. So, you know, we'll make like $11, $12 profit, maybe a little bit less, $10.75, somewhere like that. Worst case scenario on this. But it's a good looking hat and football season, cross our fingers, is coming up uh, after this thing is over, right? All right, I sell these all the time and I love to sell Sony's, but JVC, some of the models are really good and they sell well. This model is a GRSXM260U. I've sold this one probably five times in just the last couple of years. 
This one must have been a really good selling unit because I find these often. Either that or some store around here had a clearance or something. But this exact brand I have sold, this one is in great condition. I mean, this is usually my marker. It's the first thing I go to look for. And if this thing is in rough shape, it's been used a lot. This thing is like mint. It's perfect. So this is a great little sale. Usually sell them for like 60, 70 bucks. This one went for $75 plus shipping on it and it is in great condition and it is tested it has some accessories to go with it as well so love selling these guys these things are awesome almost no matter what brand but panasonic which is what you're going to see in a second is probably the worst but it still sells and different models sell really good the one i have that i'm going to show you in a minute it's not very good i just a panasonic palm quarter i might even have sold this as is it is in pretty good condition and this one sold just for 15 bucks plus shipping so some of the old Panasonics aren't so great. The Palm Quarters, there are a few that are okay. Just depends on what model. But definitely JVC and Sony are going to do a little bit better. But condition, condition, condition. A lot of the Sonys really are in rough condition. And you really have to test them as well because sometimes you're not going to... It's a big difference. The price you can get between a working unit and a non-working unit on these, on DVD combos, are like here and here. So testing them is essential and you're going to get returns on these things if you can't or won't test these. That reminds me, I had a question about testing cameras in general and I'm not an expert on it. I'm pretty good at these, but the old vintage style cameras I'm not really good at. So I have asked a friend of mine, and hopefully he'll do it, Rideshare Reseller. He deals a lot in cameras. He definitely knows a lot more than I do. So I've asked him maybe to give us some tips, maybe even make a video up for us and we'll go over there and check that out and learn a little bit from him. We had a viewer buy these little Exxon men, these vintage Legos. I don't know if you can see these or not really good, but this one has a little broom. It's an Exxon station minifigure, and these are, you know, 80s Legos. If you ever find Legos, now this is before Lego started marketing their little figures. They started just selling figures not too long ago, but before that there was a ton of money in just little figures. And I have bought and sold Legos forever and just sold the little minifigures and then sold the other stuff off in lots. But this time my wife is going to figure out if they had everything that they needed for those sets and I'm so glad she did. But there's a couple sets that didn't. So if you ever come across these old Legos and you see the figures in there, the figures themselves will usually pay for the whole lot. Maybe one figure. These aren't the best in the world, but they're still these two. This one... And this one right here went for a total of $20. Now, free shipping, and they went to a viewer. And if I remember, oh, I know, I think you said your husband had a channel that discussed the Legos. We appreciate it, and I'd love to check out that channel. So thanks so much, and they are headed your way. All right, if you haven't noticed, I told them I didn't get done in time. And they're getting ready. You're waiting for that box, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are little scoundrels. All right, this is Need for Speed Xbox, and these are just... Uh, selling like crazy 22.95 22.95 maybe 21.95 22.91 that's my pricing i have no idea why i do that 22 dollars and 91 cents free shipping on just an old xbox need for speed most wanted black edition game here's another game that sold this is not a big seller and it's got some damage right here seven dollars and fifty cents free shipping for a wii game lynx crossbow training I picked this up for a couple of bucks. I think the sale was two great yard sales, two great guys, or two, two great people, something like that. And I paid two bucks for it, and it sold for $14.95 plus shipping. Not an amazing sale. But this stuff, the Hometic stuff, will oftentimes have pretty decent resale value. Even those massagers sell pretty well. All right, I have three of these old Tupperware containers. They have the little flip lids on them. I can't remember the number on these. They always have them. They're $15.05, I think, $16.05. And these, I think I made a mistake in the listing. I thought I listed them for $6.99 plus shipping. But once again, this is the fifth time now I've made this mistake. They did not go for $6.99 plus shipping. They went for $6.99, but I'm perfectly okay with that because I think a viewer bought them, even though I don't think I saw a comment. So the family of nerds, I think, is who bought these. And I'm glad you guys got them. So there's this one, this one, and then another one identical to this one right here. $6.99 free shipping. A lot of people who love camping, a lot of people who have RVs, they buy this kind of stuff. And even at this price, $6.99 free shipping, which is not the way I wanted to list it, but even at this price, since I paid $0.25 cents 
for all three of them combined, I'm still gonna make like three bucks. But with the shipping included, I'd make like six, which would have been a little bit better. But like I said, I'm glad that some viewers are getting them and getting them at a good price. All right, you two, you can come look at this thing now. Come and look, it's a serendipity package. Whoa. <laughs> look at that, it's Whoa. like Puff the Magic Dragon right there. Look at that. Look Whoa. at that thing. Says, you... Your swamp or mine? <laughs> Aww, All right. You Look at cow. you and your farm, Reagan. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that is. We'll have to check that out. Power cord oh, of some sort. Cool. Another one. Interesting. We have no message in here. It's probably in this one. You think so? Be careful. Let me pull this out of here. That might just be an interesting way to package something right there. Look mm -hmm. at that. Oh, Mama like that. Mm -hmm. Looks like a Leonardo. Yeah, it does. Look at that. All right. Look at that. Whoa. It's, a, it's a Ninja Turtle piggy bank. Piggy bank. You be careful with yeah. it. Turner, you take it. I think that's for you, isn't it? Yeah. That is awesome. A Ninja Turtle piggy bank. Whoa. Do you that's like cool. that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is cool. Now, which which Ninja Turtle is that, Turner? Oh, Leonardo. My Le favorite is Raphael, but I still love it. <laughs> Gosh. Look at that, Reagan. Aren't you sweet? You love animals, don't you? Yeah. I hear that cat out there. Yeah. Should I get the cat in here? Yeah. Who's it going to be, Pepper? It sounds like a sweet meow. Yep, it's Pepper. Hi. It's sweet meow, isn't it? Yeah. How you doing, Pepper? You know you're not supposed to get back there. <laughs> this is going to be a 50 minute video if we keep doing this. I got to still show them what's sold in the eBay cave. I got to go in there. They even addressed it to the homeschool hustlers. And it came from Sybil in Canada. Can you believe that? Wow. Turner, that's yeah. going to go upstairs in your room, isn't it? Yeah, I have right. three piggy banks and one that I made. <laughs> that's right. You made a Spider Man one, didn't you? Yeah, I painted I it. Can okay. All right. Well, thank y'all. Would you tell Sybil thank you? Thank you. All right. And since we're in here, I'm going to look at this one here real quick, too. And Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, they said they want to hear me pronounce it. <laughs> I don't know much about Saskatchewan. I know one thing, though. I know that's where Gordy Howe is from. That is for sure. And I think, is that in the middle of the country? Middle to west, even? Is that right? I should know my geography better. All right, so this is an awesome plate, and I'm going to show it to you in just a second. It came from Susan, and I think it says Gabriel on there. I'm not positive, but you have to forgive me. Wrote a really nice note here and says we're resellers and have learned a lot from you as well as from Lonnie, Matt, Dave. They say they enjoy the endings of the video and the grass and the flowers because they're up there in Canada and their, their winter is just ending up there. So, of course, it was April 22nd when you wrote it. It takes a while to get down here, right? Well, we appreciate it. And let me show you all this. Saskatchewan. Look at that. See, look at that. That's what I said. Middle of the country. Look at that. They're growing. What is that? Wheat? Seems to me I remember mustard being a big thing up there, too, if I recall. At any rate, look at this, Saskatchewan. So it's going to go on the international shelf over here. We're going to probably put this thing right here, I think, is where it's going to be. We're going to have a Saskatchewan shelf. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. You like that, Reagan? Yeah. All right, got to get inside, y'all. You going to ship for me while I go inside, Reagan? Sure. <laughs> All right, it's a little bit warmer in here, but I'm gonna keep this on just for continuity's sake. I shocked a lot of you the other day by taking my hat off in a Commonwealth Flipper video, <laughs> I think uh, a week ago at this point. And so many of you are like, oh my gosh, he has hair. I do have hair. I'm about the only male left in my family for all of you out there watching who still has hair, but I do for now. So this, this in man right here is going out to Dana, going out to Simply Dana, and she has a YouTube channel. And I don't think you've been doing it all that long, if I recall. I have seen you on some, some live chats, and I know Danny May listens to you. So if Danny May listens to you, we'll definitely have to go over there and check your channel out. So simply, Dana, this is coming to you. And if I can remember, I'll put a link at the end or in the comments or in the description to your channel. So thanks so much, and we hope this guy brings you some great luck on eBay and some great luck on YouTube. And by the way, he is a beanie. I don't know if you knew that or not, but this I saw you had a Beanie Baby video over there. So this is, can you hear that? I, this probably looks pretty gross. I probably shouldn't do that, especially to an enema. I probably should stop. You know, if I had to pick an item that I wanted to sell, this would probably be it. At least two summers ago, maybe three. 
and I felt bad at this sale. I got some really good stuff and I sold it off fairly quick. And this guy was clearly trying to sell other stuff. He had a few unique items that I really wanted to know more about and see if he could sell them to me, even though he didn't want to because they weren't for sale. But I ended up buying a bunch of these Slim Jim mugs. A lot of them sold fairly quick. I paid $2 a piece for them. And I knew when I bought them, I shouldn't buy them. But I bought them anyways, and I've made some money. But this is the last one, $8.95 plus shipping. And this is heavy. And we're going to make, you know, 5 bucks on the thing. But it's been sitting there for three years. So I would gladly exchange my 5 bucks for three years of space back. But I'm happy it sold. So awesome. Slim Jim. Hey, we have an Inman going out. This is a second time buyer here. This is going out to, to Hector. This is going out to the Laos family. And let me read it to you real quick. It says, hi, Kevin. Bought two Inman back in March for my children for good luck. My family and I really enjoy your videos, but my children want an official shout out for the Laos family. That's the reason for buying another one. He says, continue the good work. You are an inspiration. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, especially for buying three of these things. You know, we're getting low. What's it say? 391 left. So we appreciate it. And a big giant official shout out to the Laos family. Thank you guys. We appreciate it. All right, you guys have probably heard me say that I don't like promoted listings, and that offends people sometimes, and I'm like, I don't know why it offends you. What I sell, I mean, look at what I sell. You know, I'm not selling highly competitive items most of the time. I'm not selling brand new items with 60 drop shippers in China competing. I'm not doing promoted listings and giving eBay a bigger take if I don't have to. Now, that doesn't mean I don't do promoted listings. Matter of fact, there should be a video coming out, I think, I think it might have already been out, actually, to be perfectly honest with you. If this is Wednesday, I get my days so mixed up, especially not going to school. Is anybody else out there having a hard time figuring out what day it is each day? I wake up, what is it, Friday? Is it Monday? Is it, they all run together at this point. At any rate, this is an item I did promoted listings on. This is the kind of thing I would do a promoted listing on. This is a very, very slow seller, and there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of parts to the Jack LaLanne juicer that people want and need. So they part those parts out and they sell fairly quickly. And then there's other parts that they just part out because they part the whole thing out and they want to get the maximum amount of money. But let's face it, how many people out there need this part? How many people have broken or lost this part? Things that get lost or wear down are things that people need to rebuy. This is neither. So I listed it for $12.95. For, not free shipping, twelve ninety five plus shipping, which is more than a lot of people have this thing listed for out there. But I put promoted listings on it because there's six thousand. Well, there's not. There's a few of these out there, but I wanted mine to show up at the top of the list. I can't remember what percentage, but I did do promoted listings on it, and it sold. Took forever to sell, even at that. But twelve ninety five plus shipping for this thing. I'm already well into the profit off of this machine. You usually can get into the profit off the blade fairly quickly and the pusher and the pulp basket and other things like that. I usually steer clear of selling the motor, but occasionally I have. Hey, this one's going out to Edward. He says, I'm a new seller, started about a month before the current state of the world. Inventory has been tricky, I bet, especially if you, d you didn't even have time to make a death pile like the rest of us already had and probably still have. Thank you for the great content. I enjoy seeing you teach your kids and your YouTube friends. Take care and keep smiling. YouTube friends, I bet you listen to Matt at Part-Time Pickers. Thank you, Edward, and we hope he brings you great luck. Here's a vintage jumper that sold out of the Sunny Shares sale. It did not sell for much. My wife only put $16.95 on it. It's a first-class shipper, so we're going to make our part of the profit on it. It's probably only going to be like 5 bucks, 4 bucks, probably is all we're gonna make on this one, and that's okay, but we're sharing it with Sonny. So let's take a look at that total so far. All right, with that one, we're up to $644 profit. Profit after everything so far, split 50-50. $322 for him, $322 for me, which I'm gonna give to Blue Ridge Mama because she's doing all the work. Hey, got two items going out to another viewer. These two are going out to Derek, and this is a Tiger Blackjack game from Caesar's Palace. I think this is the right one. Oh, it's a double, you bought two of them. Hold on, let me get the other. All right, these are the last two electronic handheld games that I have. They're not Radica games. I'm curious. I have sold out of all my Radica games long before any of this happened. I bet that's a popular seller during this time period. Radica games were way up and then went way down in demand. If you sell Radica handheld games, let me know. Did the market go back up during this? I haven't bothered to look because I didn't have any. I only had these two 1980s Tiger games, actually 1990. 1993 on one, 1994 on the other. 
I remember my grandmother down in North Carolina used to love to play these things. At any rate, they're going out to Derek, and he says, Thank you, Kevin. Keep up the good work. I really enjoy your channels, plural. That's awesome. Don't forget, go over there and check out Commonwealth Flipper. I've been threatening for a long time to move this show over there, but when we shut down garage sales, I couldn't put garage sale content as much as I wanted to on this channel. But we are going to shift this show over there, and we have a nice little video about how to get rid of stuff like that thing up there that I was talking about and like the Jack LaLanne juicer and different strategies to get rid of things that you really don't want hanging around anymore that are taking up space and have been there forever. And I think that video came out this morning, so you can go check it out. Anyway, he says, enjoys the chance. See, it doesn't take much. You get me distracted. I just, I'm reading somebody's comments and I just go on a diatribe. It's like teaching school. My students in class, they try to get me off track because they know I'm just going to ramble and ramble. I really enjoy your channels. I always learn something helpful. God bless you and your family, Derek. So thank you so much, Derek, and these are headed your way, and we hope you enjoy them. Total all in on that sale, $24.80 for that and the Enemans. So Derek, thank you so much, and thank everybody out there. I think I still have a Homeschool Hustler store sale to show you, so let's get back in there and check that out real quick. But I'll say goodbye right now, and we hope to see you next time. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Good. Good. What did you do to your eyeball? Uh, I ran into tree branches. You and... ran into the tree branch. <laughs> Did you cry? No. Oh, well, that's good. Hey, what do we got to sell there? Uh, Thomas the Train. Thomas the Train. And that doesn't have any batteries in it, but you hit the no. top and it makes noise and it runs. That one's pretty cool. And that one went to a viewer. That one went to Joel. Can you tell Joel thank you? Thank you, Joel. Joel said some nice things about you. He said some nice things about us. And then he also said that he is getting this for his wife's cousin, his wife's little cousin for his birthday. So $9.41 plus shipping. That's enough for you to get a dollar. Okay? Yeah. And to spend a dollar because you yeah. want to buy some more cars, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been saving. Yeah, I yeah. got a Silver Chick Hicks like three days ago. Yeah. I don't know. A silver Chick Hicks? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Did you pay for it or Mama? Mommy. <laughs> oh, all that money you make and she's buying those for you? Yeah. <laughs> mm, it was a low price. So. Oh, it was, a, it was a clearance one. Yeah. All right, well, that's good. Hey, we sold something else too. We sold Cinderella. And Reagan should do this one because she loves Cinderella. Yes. <laughs> but it's a black diamond, and that's not going to a viewer. So for $11 plus shipping, and it did come from the SeaWord sale. So let me show you that. All right, so that SeaWord sale right there, $9 profit on that one, $197 from the $70 SeaWord sale so far. Want to say goodbye? Bye, but uh, I used to play with Thomas the Train, and I had like this set. Over with Thomas Turner, this video is like 25 minutes yeah. already. We gotta go. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just teasing. Oh. Go ahead and tell the story. So uh, I used to play with Thomas the Train, and uh, I had like this set thing uh, at Reagan's Ball, and it was like it had a road. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, that's right. You did, didn't you? Yeah. I remember that thing. You liked it, didn't you? Yeah. Didn't, didn't Santa bring that to you? Yeah, and then I think I let you sell it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them. They're gonna think I'm terrible. Yeah. Well, I didn't <laughs> want it. Yeah, you were done playing with it, yeah. weren't you? That's right. Yeah. I moving on, it. huh? Yeah. All right, and buddy. Moving on to cars. <laughs> That's right, to cars. That's right. Thank you. Bye.